The first thought that I want to share with you is that faith pleases God. It's very simple. Faith pleases God. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says the following. It says, it is impossible to please God without faith. And he who comes to God must believe that he is and he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Faith pleases God. We must understand that it's possible to please God, but it's impossible to please Him without faith. When I was younger, I think I was at the age of 11, um, I have quickly, at the, my young years, I've discovered that my mother can be pleased. And I've discovered how I can please her. Till this day, I don't think I know how to please my father. My father is a mystery man and stuff. So if you know my father, you know he's, he's a mysterious. Nobody has him figured out and stuff. He's a very mysterious. My mom, she's very simple. And I knew that from a young age that to figure my mom out and to please my mom, I just had to clean the house really, 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 really clean. And she will be very, very, very happy. Does anybody have a mother like that or a father? Okay. So at 11 years of age, my parents went somewhere, and I remember it like yesterday. I don't remember much about my childhood, but I remember this incident. And we had cows, we had pigs, we had chicken, and, and I had four siblings. <laughs> I don't compare them to the animal category, but at times they needed restraints. And so what happens is my parents left, and they, this time they didn't ask one of her, my mom's sisters or other uncles or aunties to take care of us, but they commissioned me, the 11-year-old, to rule the house. And I remember I felt so good. I felt like they trusted me and I, you know, put the siblings in order. You know, we started cleaning the house and they did not want to clean the house, but we cleaned. I mean, we washed it. We almost licked the house. It looked spotless. We fed the pigs. We just swept the driveway. We just cleaned every single thing so good. And I remember it like yesterday when the mom came and dad came and the mother looked at how clean the house was. She was in awe. And I remember it like yesterday. She started to look for money. And she found some pennies. It wasn't a lot, but it was enough to buy ice cream. And she gave me money for cleaning the house. And I've learned that that day, there is a reward for people who please people in authority. And that day I also learned a second lesson. It's not hard to please someone if you know what they like. When I say to please God, this is not just to get brownie points. This is so that God's favor will be stretched on your life. So that God will help you in your doings and in your life. Because if your parents, if you please them and they honor you, can you imagine what will happen if you please God? What would happen if we will take all the attention we play to please other people and just focus on pleasing God? And I want to encourage you tonight that it's possible to please God. Many people think that it's impossible to please God. Maybe your parents were very difficult to please. Maybe your boss is impossible to please. Maybe you feel like God is this perfectionist and that it's nearly impossible to please Him. If there is anybody who could please Him, it's Mother Teresa, but not me. I actually can tell you today, it's not difficult to please God. God makes it easy for us by telling us, you know how you can please me? Not by a good behavior. Sometimes we feel like, well, if I don't smoke, drink, get high, I am going to be pleasing to God. No, God is pleased with that. But what really pleases God is a belief. When you believe, you please God. It's not hard to please God if you understand that He is pleased, not by your good behavior, as much as your great belief in His promises and in His Word. It honors God to trust Him when every sense contradicts Him. When you go through the day and the day is hard and the feelings are against you and the sickness maybe has come back or maybe some symptoms are raging in your body or maybe you got a letter or you got a ticket or you got a fee somewhere at the bank or maybe things are not working out and you did not get that job but it honors God not only when you do good but when all of that is happening you keep a good attitude that my God is with me he did not leave me and everything is going to be all right it honors God God is pleased with that a lot more than when you don't smoke, than when you don't drink, don't look at pornography, or don't abuse drugs. God is pleased with great belief, not just a good behavior.